MKM's Michael Darda on this show warned the European Central Bank is at risk of making the same mistake as the Fed here by creating a rate hike induced recession. But my next guest is bullish. Joining us now is Cole Smead, CEO and portfolio manager at Smead Capital Management. Cole, I don't want to overstate your enthusiasm for Europe, but you, I, I think it's safe to say you have a very different perspective here than what we heard from Kyle and Mike. Why is that? Yeah, because investors got really comfortable with what they had seen over a decade, which was that low inflation and the kinds of businesses that have benefited and the, the businesses that price up, Kelly. So, for example, in that era, it was low inflation and low interest rates caused asset like businesses to be worth a lot more. OK, but in reality, what transpired was the more capital intensive businesses had really low uh, interest costs and therefore they were able to fund their businesses through debt in a way that they rarely ever get as asset intensive businesses. Now we're in the world, Kelly, where asset light businesses are getting killed uh, on most days. And the asset intensive businesses that are tied to these economic factors that we're talking about and some of the, what you and your guests were talking about before actually benefits the capital intensive business. Because as the cost of capital goes up, who can compete in capital intensive industries? And that just happens to be what Europe has, you know, really left to right compared to the tech heavy United hmm. States. So, for instance, I mean, would autos be an example of what you're talking about? Yeah. So um, think about it. Uh, you know, Musk has to go out and build factories, for example. And that's there's real cost to that uh, in his business versus if your uh, Volkswagen or your Porsche automobile holdings there, you know, which is the Porsche and Peach family holding company. Um, they have a lot of assets that we don't think are correctly valued. Um, use the spinoff of Porsche uh, earlier this year, P911. Um, that company is worth roughly about what Volkswagen uh, trades for in the open market. So we think there's a myriad of assets like that that uh, aren't exposing the value. And it's because for 10 years, Kelly, people didn't want to touch Europe because, frankly, no money was made. Now, one other thing I'll mention, go back and look at the history of the dollar. Um, what happens is when commodities do really well, the dollar does poorly. 08 was a good example of oil being king and the dollar being weak. There's also a translation effect that will probably happen as the dollar weakens because you know, that, that twos and froze over 10 and 20 year periods. So people might also think, OK, well, then obviously you got to look at the energy uh, majors. I, I, Peter Bookbar, yeah. perhaps a few others have said, you know, th uh, that they're more attractive in Europe. But you're you would say maybe not so fast. Why? Yeah, because um, well, uh, real quick, uh, my, there was a company in Seattle uh, where I grew up and, you know, having my father, Kelly, as you know, I'm going to learn a lesson. <laughs> and so he said he said uh, there was a company called Puget Sound Energy and they would teach you how to use less natural gas. It was the local natural gas provider. And he told me never own a company that teaches you to use less of their product. OK, <laughs> and that's what the European majors have been doing. Hey, we're oil and gas businesses, but we want to teach you how to use less of our product. That's a foolish strategy. And I think you and I uh, I think I think you saw it uh, put out on Twitter where it, I was just glad to know that Shell was thinking about leaving Europe because they hate the industry. They hate what they do. And so that just doesn't look attractive compared to the United States or Canada. The other thing I think that really looks attractive in Europe, though, is the banks. Um, what Unicredit and banks like Bowig have been doing where they're buying back their shares, they're producing incredible return on equity compared to what people thought. And that's an American thing. Buybacks are more of an American thing. Um, Bowick perform, performed the first uh, buyback approved by the ECB ever hmm. uh, three years ago, if my math serves me correct. So we're seeing American entrepreneurialism, American capitalism in European banking, which has just never been present before.